Good morning. The pigs are noisy. I think Yukon wants Brutus to play with them because they've already had breakfast this morning. If you guys are just tuning into this series, we're working on building a structure to put our cattle chute under so that way it keeps it out of the rain. And the big one is to keep the snow off of it in the winter time. We got our concrete slab poured. We got our post up, we got the headers up. Now we can put the side rails on. I had to go run out and get some two by tens last night that were 10 feet long because I had two by tens that were eight feet long and they were an inch short. So now we can get those cut and start getting the upper area built and then we can get all the braces going. The sun is out and it feels amazing. All right, let's get our first one cut. For our roof angle, we need to put a 15 degree cut on this end. I'll need you to hold the tape measure on that end. I sure hope you caught that right. Me too. You ready, Brutus? Let me level off this ladder. Tell me why all cats love to roll on concrete. They love it. Now I want to get a length over here because I don't want to just assume that it's the same as the other side. It should be, but oh wow. Same as the other side, which is perfect. Oh, I like it. Now we need to work on making our diagonal bracing. I'm going to make these out of two by sixes and we will layer them up like a header. Yeah, I can just go to that. Actually, let me go five feet on this one or just under. All right, now we gotta mark this one up. So I need you to mark it in two places. Okay. So the first mark I want is out here on the underside, like with this 
hits the bottom. Okay. And then I want to have a mark on the top where it goes over. Okay, mark it top and bottom there, please. Okay. All right, that should be our first template, so I'll mark that on this one. And this will be template number two. All right, so let's test fit this one first. And if this one is right, we'll cut the first one to put up. We'll put the first one up, then we'll check our second template. This is gonna be built in three sections. The reason I'm doing them out of two by six is it's a lot easier to cut them and put them up in sections than cutting them out of a six by six. If we cut them out of a six by six, I'd have to cut them this way, and then I'd have to notch them in to recess in on the two by 10. So by doing it out of two by sixes, I can build it in sections, have our short one, and then the longer ones in on the inside. All right, so I'm gonna put this up and tell me how the angles look. Right there. Looks good, I think. Okay. So we Do you can, think? Yep, so we, let me check, I don't, I don't know it's if it's definitely gonna, not the same angle there. This was way is going to be different, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So for we sure. cut one more of these like this for the back, for that side, and then we'll get those two installed. Then we'll check our second template that I just cut. If that one fits. We can cut one more, put it in the middle. Actually, we can cut three more: the middle and then the outside edge. And then we'll have to get a different angle for this side, and then for the back. It'll be all straight 45s. Yeah, because this one opens up and that one closes. Right. All right, pre-drilled a couple of holes. We're gonna put some longer lags in them. Just wanna make sure that they don't split. That's why I pre-drilled them. So let's get these up. I don't have anything yet, hold on. Yeah, just hold it like that when we get this side. I like it. So now we can put our, we'll check our template, see if, make sure that's good, and then we can go one, two. All right, you're good. That'll hold it, now I can. I'll just have you hold that so it doesn't come down on me.
We don't need that anymore, so we might as well get it out of our way. All right, I want to get a measurement from the top down. 32 and a quarter inches. Wow, way up there. And that is how far down we are from the top of that post. Let's see how that looks. Thank you. All right, let's get our template figured out for the backside. All right, I guess we're taking a rain delay. It is raining out right now, so I'm gonna bring all my tools under cover so they're not getting rained on. I'm gonna put the pallet forks back on the 754. We have a special delivery showing up at some point today. So yeah, let me get this stuff picked up and then I'll be back. I think the rain is blowing out. It's still raining over here, but we got blue sky coming around us. So hopefully we can get some more done. All right, watch out, sir. Sir, you're in my way. Sir. I know, you don't care. You don't care, do you? No, you really don't. Well, the rain's back. It was starting to look good there for a while. Blue sky was coming back out and now we're socked back in with the rain. It'll stop soon, I hope. Just got a new toy to play with from TYM and Ironcraft. I can't wait to use this. Yeah, I'm excited. So we had some wind come in overnight, brought in the cold air. It's like 39 degrees out right now. It was, in, it was 30 the first thing this morning. 
it is still windy, but that sun is coming out. So hopefully it's gonna warm up and the wind dies out so we can get our rafters up. We gotta figure out our rafter length. And the biggest way I wanna figure that out is I wanna see what we have for leftover tin and see what lengths we have. We need, I would say at least 10 feet. The measurement up above is like eight feet, five inches. So we want at least a 10 foot overhang total. So let's go see what we have out back kicking around for tin and then we can figure out our rafter lengths. So we need six pieces for our roofing. So I'm kind of curious what we have here. We have, if these are all the same length, which I'll have to take off the other sheets, I think we have enough right here for that, which would be perfect. This is all left over from the barn. Curious to see about this gray. So the longer pieces are only eight feet long. We got like eight or nine of them and then we get some short pieces that are six feet long. So we don't have enough to make it all in one piece, but I think we can make them work. We'll just have to have them a two piece roof, which is no big deal to have like a two foot overlap. So I think we'll use up all this gray tin for the roof, to be able to use it. We don't gonna buy more roofing and we can also start using up some of the material that we have left over, which is nice. I got some hurricane brackets. I'm gonna put these up now. I marked layout for our rafters. So I'm gonna put these up on layout. So that when I go to put the rafters up, I can stand them up, I'll put them into our hurricane brackets. So they'll stand up and then I can screw them down. And I don't have my inner header up yet because I want these in between the two. So you don't see these when you're just looking in. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. The wind is still pretty windy and raw, but let's get this stuff all done. And then hopefully this weather changes. We don't need that many. Sweet. All right, let's do the top side. Now we only have 10 more to make. We're gonna go take a ride to the feed store before they close. I wanna pick up some more pig grain and some more egg layer grain. I might grab some more hay bales just to have some few more on stock. It's gonna be that time of the year.
You look so prim and proper crossing your legs there, Brutus. Now, I'm not out of hay. We're just getting a little lower. So before, while we're waiting for our bigger order to come in, I'd like to make sure I have some. So I picked up eight bills today, and we should be getting some more hay at some point. So, yeah, I don't know. That's just how I am. I don't want to run out of hay ever. So I like to keep some on hand. We have the square bales that we feed to Azalea and Cookie at night inside in their hay feeders and then we have the round bales so if we ever did run out we have round bales we could take off of and the round bales we put up above for the highland cattle it's just more convenient to do the square bales for down here for nighttime feeding and we'll probably feed them i don't know if we're gonna feed them during the day this year in the winter time for the for for azalea and cookie i might put a round bale out here i think that's what i'm gonna do so this will still be for nighttime feeding and then the round bales will be for daytime feeding so yeah, we're just figuring it all out as we have the new barn already this winter to use and the seasons are changing. So pretty soon, I'm gonna have to start feeding them hay. So far, we've only been having to feed them hay at night. They've been able to get delicious grass still out on pasture. You find anything good there, Forrest, in the hay? Huh? I have five more rafters to mark and cut I had to leave so i could make sure i could get to the feed store before they close so let's get those cut Well, we ended up calling it quits earlier today because we ended up going out to the movies. We went and saw the best Christmas pageant ever. I know it's a little early for Christmas movies, but we did it. We pulled the gun, saw some Christmas movies. Fairly early for us, but it was a good movie. If anybody's looking for a good family-friendly movie, I would highly recommend the best Christmas pageant ever. It's directed by Dallas Jenkins. Very good movie. So if you guys are looking for something fun, check it out. It is pretty dark here now, so this is where we're going to end this video. I have some more footage of Brutus playing with the cows. Brutus playing with the cows and all the animals cracks me up. So I have some of that at the end because I know you guys like watching that too. So this is where we're going to end this video. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homesteading. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. We'll see you right back here in the next video and enjoy this footage.